All right, guys, um, I've got really, really clear skies tonight, so I'm doing some astrophotography, but um, I just wanted to take a quick look at Mars, and man, it is so beautiful tonight. Check this out. I just had to show you guys. That's Mars. Look at that sucker. He is so bright tonight. It's incredibly bright. That's what it looks like with, with, through my William Optics Red Cat 51. It's a small refractor telescope. It's really good for wide, um, wide angle shots. It gives you a really nice wide field of view, but it's perfect for astrophotography. Um, and I'm running another camera down here on my large telescope. This is my um, Celestron Evolution 8 SCT. Look what Mars looks like through it. Check that out. See how bright it is? Zoom in some more. Look at that. That's Mars, guys. See? Mars. Nothing is what they told us it was, okay? All of the planets, the so-called planets, the wandering stars, they're way brighter than the images they show us. Way brighter. What they do is they underexpose them. They turn the exposure down as far as they can without making it completely disappear, okay? And then they'll take like 100 or 200 photos with it underexposed, then stack them all together with uh, software, and then take that final stacked image, move it over into Photoshop, and edit it and, and you know, change it some more. They can add texture, grain. They can do all kind of tricky stuff with Photoshop, okay? But this is how Mars truly looks. I'm not trying to make anyone mad. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys the truth. I'm trying to show you guys the beautiful truth. They are not other worlds. Earth is the only world God made. These right here, they're luminaries. They're just luminaries that God placed in the heavens. Okay, read Genesis chapter 1. It tells you exactly what they're for. They're for signs, for seasons, and for days, and for years. They are not other worlds, okay? The word planet simply means wandering star, and that's because they wander about in the heavens differently than the fixed stars, okay? They don't have a set path that they that they travel across every night like the other stars. That's why they're called wandering stars. They're just much bigger and more unique than the others.